Okay, well, I was going to take the follow up, so sorry. Uh, Lee Berthium, Canadian Press, sir. Uh, your predecessor, Aaron O'Toole, has written a blog basically saying he would like to see fewer F Trudeau flags. He says they are a symptom of a larger problem in which rage is being normalized, which in turn is hurting our democracy. I'd like your thoughts on those flags uh, and Mr. O'Toole's concerns that, again, rage is being normalized and hurting democracy. Well, I don't like the flags, um, and I don't like rage, but I think we have to ask ourselves. Why are people so angry? Like, why are people so angry? And the answer is that they're hurting. You know, it's easy for, for you know, the, the political establishment to say, stop all your complaining. But when you're one of the 1.5 million people that, ate, uh, that went to a food bank in the month of March, it's not so easy. If you're one of the people that went to the Mississauga Food Bank and asked for help with medical assistance in dying, not because you're sick, but because you can't afford to live, it's not so easy. If you're one of the 38-year-olds living in your parents' basement because it now takes more of a, a monthly paycheck to own a house than at any time in recorded history, it's not so easy to be happy with the way things are going. Um, if you're one of the people who was overprescribed opioids and is now addicted to drugs as a result, it's not so easy to be happy with the way things are going. Uh, I have never seen so much hurt and so much pain and suffering in our population in my nearly two decades in politics. So yes, of course, we should tell people to be more civil and to reject offensive signs, flags, and language. But we should also ask ourselves, why are people hurting so badly? And uh, we as leaders, you know, the other day, Justin Trudeau was at a big party, 2,000 wealthy liberal lobbyists in the nation's capital, saying that we should stop all the complaining. Well, everybody in that room has nothing to complain about. They're doing very well. It's been an all-you-can-eat buffet for the, for the lobbyists and the insiders in Ottawa. It's, but for the average person who's struggling to make their mortgage payments, that have gone up by eight or nine hundred dollars a month, uh, that they're living in a different world. So, sure, let's tell people to be more civil, but let's, as political leaders, let's actually try to solve the problems that have, that have upset and angered and hurt people so badly. It is our job to turn that hurt into hope, to transform it into something better. You know, uh, my parents taught me that in Canada, it didn't matter where I came from, but where I was going. It didn't matter who I knew, but what I could do. That's the country I want my kids to inherit. So let's make this a place where people feel like their hard work pays off, where they're respected, where their leaders don't talk down to them and point fingers at them, but rather lift them up. Uh, where we have a prime minister that actually brings people together and gives them the hope that tomorrow can be better than today. I think that is the real problem that we need to solve, and it's the one I will solve as prime minister. Thank you.